Next we'll see how to change percents into decimals and this is also really easy. Just remember a percentage, percent means one one hundredth and one hundred has two zeros. So we need to adjust our decimal point two places and you'll see that in these examples. Twenty-five percent is twenty-five hundredths or point two five. Notice that twenty-five would have the decimal place right there. And to change it to it from a percent to a decimal, I just move the decimal point two places over and I end up with 0.25. So 10% is 0 0.10 or just 0 0.1. 312%. Look, the decimal would be right here after the two, so moving it two places to the left puts it right there after the three. So I end up with 3.12. Notice again I have a percentage larger than 100, so I end up with a number larger than one. 3.12. 3%, now watch this, the decimal would be right here after the 3. If I'm going to change it from a percentage to a decimal, I need to move this decimal point two places to the left, but there's not a digit right there. So I need to add a 0. So I end up with 0 0.03. 3% three expressed as a decimal is 0 0.03. Now this next one, 0.2%, notice we have a decimal point right there, 0.2%, that's not 2%, this is, this is less than 1%, this is 2 tenths of 1%, 0.2%. Let's move the decimal two places to the left. Notice to get the decimal point here, I need one more zero right there out front, so I'm going to have 0 0.002. 0.2% is the same thing as 0.002. 7%, again we're moving the decimal point two places to the left, so I need another zero there. 7% is 0 0.07. Now 7.5%, well 7% is 0 0.07 and I need another half of a percent. Well think of 7.5 as 7.5, so this is 7.5 percent and I need to move this decimal point two places to the left. So it's going to be 0 0.075 as a decimal. Seven and a half percent is 0 0.075 as a decimal. And we'll also see how to change decimals to percents. And this is also easy. We just move the de decimal point two places to the right. And here are some examples. 0.72 We'll just move the decimal two places to the right, and that gives me 72. So 0 0.72 is the same as 72%. 0 0.10 is moving the decimal two places to the right gives me 10, 10%. And note, this would be true even if I didn't have this zero right here. If I just had 0 0.1 by itself, that would still be 10%. Moving the decimal point from here, two places to the right involves adding an additional zero on the end. And I can do that because 0.1 is the same thing as 0 0.10. Both of those are 10%. Okay, 1.85. Move this decimal point two places to the right and we get 185%. Notice again, a number larger than one corresponds to a percentage greater than 100. 0.03 move this decimal point two places to the right and it ends up there and we just end up with three percent. Point zero zero eight, I need to move this decimal point two places to the right and it ends up right there in front of the eight. Point zero zero eight as a decimal is equivalent to point eight as a percentage.